What's up guys, welcome to A1 in a Box. Today I have a review over the Logitech G900 wireless gaming mouse. And if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for a wireless mouse and see if it's worth the $150 price tag. So right now this mouse is going for $130 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box down below. And I was actually lucky enough to pick one of these up for $75 on Black Friday. Honestly, I probably still would have bought this mouse at $130 just because I was looking for a wireless gaming mouse and this one had really great reviews. Now that I have the mouse in my hand, I'm planning on keeping it for a really long time and the money doesn't seem like a waste because I'll be keeping this mouse for years to come. So before I start the review, I'm just going to tell you guys where I'm coming from. I previously had a Razer Mamba and I prefer the Logitech now because it just feels better, it has more buttons, and of course it's wireless. So the packaging is really nice and as soon as you open the box, the mouse is right there. Then when you lift up the bottom, you get a little guide to the mouse. Underneath that, you have a little box which contains a USB you put into your computer so that you can connect your mouse to your computer. Also, you have extra pieces to switch out your side buttons. And lastly, you have a cable to connect to your mouse to charge it and to make it into a wired mouse. So the side pieces are switchable and if you don't want any buttons, then put in the long piece. But if you do want side buttons, then put in the two smaller pieces. I really like this customization and so you can either have four side buttons, two side buttons, or you can have no side buttons. And so since this mouse is symmetrical, you can have a left-handed person use it or a right-handed person use it. So you can use whichever side buttons feel most comfortable to you. So another thing I like about this mouse is that when the battery gets low, I can just use the cable to charge it and use it at the same time. So I'll talk about the battery life once we get into the Logitech software. The gaming software is nicely set up and I'll put a link in the description box where you can download it and it's compatible for both Mac and Windows users. Once in the software, as you can see, you can customize up to 11 different buttons. By clicking a specific button, you can edit a command and you can map any keystroke or command to that button. By customizing the buttons, I'm able to do things such as controlling the volume or going back and forth on the internet all on the mouse. And it makes everything so much more convenient because my hand's already on the mouse. Also, you can customize the DPI and there are four settings ranging from 200 to 12,000. On the next tab, you can customize the color and it's pretty straightforward. You can have the colors have a breathing effect or go through the color cycle. Next tab is the battery. Now the battery life has been amazing on this thing and it's really exceeded my expectations. For me, the battery lasts about a week and I don't use it all day every day and so this probably varies from person to person. But for me, I use the mouse for about 4 hours a day and by the end of the week, I have about 20% left. I'm guessing the hours remaining represents the actual usage of the mouse and doesn't include the standby time. Now in Logitech software, I really like how you can tune your mouse to any surface. So tuning the mouse to any surface is really easy, you just follow the instructions and it's tuned. Overall, the mouse feels really good in my hand and all the buttons are easily accessible and so I have no problems pressing any of the buttons. I would say I have medium sized hands and the mouse isn't too big or too small for me. So I would recommend this to anyone who's looking for a wireless gaming mouse or just a wireless mouse in general. The mouse is a little bit pricey, but once you get this mouse, you probably won't need any other mouse and so in the long run, it is worth it. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at A1inabox. Till next time, peace.